Sci-fi and gaming are two cyber peas in a digitally augmented pod. Gaming is already a bit sci-fi, what with all the touchscreens and virtual worlds and that, so it makes sense that the genre would thrive on an inherently cutting-edge platform. All the games in this list create an evocative science fiction world that goes beyond the flashy lights and big explosions. Though we've got some of those too, because, you know, they're fun. From turn-based cyberpunk strategy to terrifying mind control experiments, here's five of the best sci-fi games on mobile. Invisible Ink fuses two unlikely genres, turn-based strategy and stealth. The corporate espionage agency you work for is attacked by a rival, leaving your leader, a few agents, and surveillance system Incognita on the run. You've got 72 hours to execute a counterattack. From your aerial base, you outfit and upgrade agents to tackle the missions, all of which are won through clever use of augmentations and efficient distribution of movement and action points. It is far from chill, though. Every turn you take ups the facility's alarm level, increasing the number of guards and improving the scope of the cameras trying to catch you. Your agents will be cornered and killed. You'll struggle to learn the best builds, but your efforts will be rewarded. It looks great, it plays great, it is great. Roguelikes are everywhere these days. But at the time, FTL Faster Than Light was the best marriage of randomized levels and permadeath in a way that was actually fun and satisfying that we had ever seen. You're being pursued across outer space by a fleet of warships. As you flee desperately, you'll run into pirates, vicious aliens, infestations of interstellar spiders, and worse. You sort of get to roleplay Kirk by bossing and expanding crew around during life or death starship battles. You get to make morality choices with potentially devastating consequences. Even the easy mode is hard, but it is ludicrously addictive. The low-key engine hum and twinkling sound design is pretty zen, and playing it on a touchscreen only enhances the retro sci-fi Star Trek vibes. This is the perfect couch-tablet game, and it is a classic. Here's something new and a little different. Nier Reincarnation brought the weird and wonderful world of Nier to mobile. This series has been alive for years and years, only becoming widely popular with the console release of Nier Automata. Rather than straddling several genres like previous games, Reincarnation sits more squarely in the ARPG camp, with your squad of soldiers and hunters engaging in team battles, gaining XP, acquiring boosters, and leveling gear. There's a bit too much gacha going on for our tastes here, but it's such a unique and interesting sci-fi universe, with a distinctive, almost melancholy tone. We're not lying when we say there's nothing quite like it, and even though it's not our favourite of the series, this is still worth exploring for the sci-fi flavour alone. Again, this is one of those recommendations that applies to both XCOM and XCOM 2. Whether it's the original 90s version or the excellent recent reinventions, you're dealing with aliens invading and occupying the planet. You set up and expand a hidden base, train and recruit, research discovered alien tech to use against the enemy, and name your squad mates after real life friends before getting them sniped in the face. This is turn-based sci-fi shooting at its finest with the mobile port being a superb example of using touchscreen controls to enhance gameplay rather than ruin it. After the success of the tablet version, it was even brought to phones and works great there too. A little on the pricier side, but more than worth it for a stone-cold sci-fi winner. The follow-up and sort of sequel to Limbo, Inside sees you once again in charge of a small boy walking ever onward through a world of extraordinary horror and misery. Unlike Limbo, which was more of a straight nightmare horror tone, this one skews into the realms of science fiction, specifically riffing on Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Without spoiling things too much, what appears to be a dystopian rural setting evolves into something else entirely, and introduces some really interesting control mechanisms based around manipulating multiple characters at the same time. It's a straight-up platformer, but it is a cerebral sci-fi concerned not with neon lights and laser guns, 
but with the awful possibilities of technology and its consequences. It's also kind of funny in parts too, so don't be put off by all the nasty slugs. Mm -hmm. 